A community is mourning the loss of a six-year-old boy and searching for answers after he fell into a canal in Belize City and drowned. Sometime after three o'clock, King Shekel Wade played near the water's edge of the Fairweather Street Bridge and fell in. However, it was not until over an hour that the search for him in the water commenced. The young boy had not long arrived at the home of his babysitter, 56-year-old Jennifer Fitzgibbon, when he disappeared. We're about 3.30. His sister come and asked me where King, so I tell her, King, they are front up on the refrigerator. But when he, she gone out, they say, King, no, did they? So I come out and I had a for her. So I said, where well, you could go? On. So I tell her, she go go check who in the house, can like go home in the house? And we check all about where we know he could go. We well, you know, find her. But when she gone, I back there and had a for her. That my daughter do. My little grandson tell her, King, just in the kennel. But Fitzgibbon didn't believe her grandson. And it was not until his footwear was found floating on the water that she realized he had fallen in while attempting to cross a concrete beam over the canal. I gone and I call the police. When I call the police, no, before I call the police, I call him. I tell him, girl, I can't find King. And TJ tell me, drop in at the kennel. And she hang up. And you all after that, I tell the girl, I said, go back and check to the kennel, see where you could see. When she gone, I hear she ball out. So I run downstairs with the baby. When I get there, she just show me the two slippers in the water. The young man there with me has. They like run up along on the skin inside, right? And they like go cross, they go fast. Cause for my grandson, Junior, like go over there. Cause I catch her one day, they cross it and I stop her. But he, see the man pass the house, but the boy never stop over there. The boy got straight. So he look like he may go and go see where he going. And right there, he was a slipper for the thing I had on his slippers. An entire hour had passed when police and residents of the area became aware of the situation, prompting immediate search efforts. Egbert Myers was among the first to jump into the murky waters and worked with the Belize Coast Guard to find Wade's body. When we look people around for a tree, we are going so. So we asked the and they say, I'm a baby jungle wrong now. So we said, why am I going to see where they go wrong now? We think they don't take all the baby right then. Eh? When they reach it, eh? all of we start shove stick first. If you look for the man, I feel the man check. Every man jumped out of the water, you know, you know, the lean of the night. When I say, more man start go, I say, that I have to go to my leaf family. And then I jumped out of the water the first time. Got on the two time, I feel on the third time. I got on the feel the man foot. Come up and tell the right as well. The baby boy was pulled out of the water as a crowd of spectators gathered, and despite efforts to revive him, the primary school student was pronounced dead at the hospital around 6.30. His aunt, Sharon Wade, says the family is yet to come to terms with his tragic loss. We're in shock. We're still in disbelief, you know, that this is actually happening to us. Especially my sister. She cry and stop, but... I guess she still can't believe that, you know, she actually lost a child. I guess um, when it would really sink in is on funeral day, that, yeah. While we had vanished around 3 o'clock, his family says they never found out until some two hours later, leaving them puzzled as to what really may have transpired. The family has more questions than answers, and it's actually questions that we're not going to probably get answers for. Um, we still want to know like what happened to King Shakil. We want to know who was there. We want to know when my nephew alerted the first adult, why was nothing done? Um, we want to know why was my little sister not alerted that her son was missing until after five, you know? So there is a lot of questions that we know we're not gonna get answers for, but it's something that we just have to leave in the hands of the police. While many mourn and grieve the loss of the baby boy, his family gathered today at their home on South Street, remembering him as a vibrant soul he was to everyone around him. King was a joyous, he was so, so very jovial. King was the family's sweet and sour gummy. He could once well be giving trouble, like, you would have hear him mark as the neighbors would tell you, hmm, you could hear when Miss Erica the beat King, but right after that, King will do something to make you smile, to make you laugh. He was very, very sweet. He was an all-arounder. Everybody from 
around this area knows King. They love King. Like King was for everyone because he was so sweet and lovable. Wade was a student at St. Ignatius Primary School. Vigil Alvarez, Love News.